This is Witchbase News for Friday the 14th of June 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week. Frontier developments are starting to show signs of financial recovery. Are the Thargoids about to do something devious? The next Buckyball event needs you to bring along some firepower and we have the ultimate users guide to the background simulation system. If you haven't already remember to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to make sure you see all our videos and community posts and if you'd like to help support the channel links to our Patreon and everything else are in the description below. Frontier Developments released a trading update to the UK stock market this week which paints a rosier picture of the company's financial position that has been the case more often than not of late. The update is brief and doesn't go into a huge amount of detail but it does say that following the company's painful and well documented staff cuts, the back catalogue continuing to perform well and then the release of Planet Zoo on consoles, FDev have brought in around £89 million in revenue. This strong performance has also helped prop up their overall cash pot which is encouraging to see. The company continues to reiterate throughout the document that their primary focus is on creative management sims with 3 such titles coming to the market in the next 3 financial years as well as the next F1 manager game which is arriving in July. Whilst Elite Dangerous isn't mentioned specifically in the update at all it is of course part of their back catalogue. Our own observations and the noises we've heard here would seem to imply that at the very least the Python Mark II was well received and has had a healthy take up during its paid early access period so far. The announcement of the Type 8 which we're all assuming will have a similar paid for early access model upon release has been almost universally well received and it'll be interesting to see if we see confirmation of that when the full results get published in September. If you'd like to see the update yourself you'll find it linked in the description below this video. An article about the Thargoid War appeared on the Galnet newsfeed earlier this week highlighting an apparent change in Thargoid behaviour and expressing concerns from the Xeno Research and Defence Agency Aegis. The article states that since the destruction of the 4th Thargoid Titan Hadad, Thargoid expansion efforts appear to have been observed to be significantly weaker with the Thargoids no longer reinforcing their spire sites. It's entirely possible that the article is merely a lore way to explain away the recent changes in the Thargoid war system that we covered last week and as best we can determine the changes noted by Aegis don't relate to anything else observed by players. What makes the article worthy of note however is that Aegis believes the move from the Titans is part of a wider effort by the Thargoids to consolidate their defences around the remaining 4 Titans. This fact coupled with hints that Frontier gave on their last livestream that perhaps we should expect the unexpected as we move into the final stages of the end game struggle against the caustic vacuum vegetables have led to a degree of nervousness and heightened caution amongst those engaged in the war. That feeling of unease was further compounded this week when FDev's Arthur Tolmy retweeted the Galnet news piece alongside a meme of the scheming Palpatine from the Star Wars prequels. The Palpatine memes from Arth being synonymous signalling from FDev's community principle that something was perhaps in the air. At the time of recording nothing more unusual has been seen from the meanie greenies on our doorstep. If we see them twitch we will of course report it here. The next of the Buckyball Racing Club challenges entitled Pop Gun begins next Friday the 21st of June and runs until the 1st of July a little over a week later. Buckyball is never a familiar format as each Buckyball race is completely unique. This one however does have somewhat of a more unique twist than is usual for Buckyball employing as it does the use of weapons, specifically unguided dumbfire missiles. 
The race involves visiting a number of predetermined and not always easy to reach locations and using one of the aforementioned dumb fire missiles on a specific target at that location gathering video evidence of your attack before moving on to the next. Commander Kalem in Kola who is organising and sponsoring the race has even created a Top Gun themed trailer to publicise the race which you can see on screen now. Top Gun is the third in the Buckyball Racing Club's currently ongoing Triple Eight series of races that are running at monthly intervals throughout this year. As is usually the case with Buckyball it has a number of different classes within it ensuring very low barriers to entry and is, of course, open to everyone. You'll find Commander Incola's trailer video linked below this one together with all the other information you'll need to take part in the race yourself. The background simulation or BGS as it's generally referred to permeates almost every single aspect of life in the bubbles around Sol and the Colonia region. It is ever present watching just about every single action that any given commander performs from trade to combat through smuggling, warfare, piracy and passenger missions yet many commanders know very little about its inner workings and in some cases they don't even know of its existence. It is one of the defining and more unique features of Elite Dangerous and for many commanders the BGS fills the majority of their Elite Dangerous experience. For the uninitiated the BGS is the simulation that determines the ebb and flow of power, influence, conflict, trade and territorial ownership in the galaxy. It deals predominantly with the thousands of minor factions in the game both player and NPC and how actions for or against those factions drive the state and ownership of the topography they hold dominion over. But very simply if you perform an action in the galaxy the BGS generally knows about it and it applies a small degree of sociopolitical change as a result of that action. When lots of such actions are performed it can change the shape of the galaxy that we all play in. It perhaps goes without saying then that the BGS is a complex, entangled and multi-limbed beast and one that is quite often invisible. Step 4 then Commander Perfect who has taken on the challenge of not only tackling the invisible multi-limbed BGS monster but also created a complete in-depth guide to the thing. Commander Perfect's complete Elite Dangerous background simulation guide is a PDF formatted document filled with text, maps, charts and images that aims to be, as the title would seem to imply, the complete go to guide for all things BGS. Whilst the document currently weighs in at no less than 60 pages it isn't just aimed at the BGS expert managing the affairs of a large player owned faction. It also serves as a guide to the completely new player and everything in between. As well as documenting the how and the what of the background sim the guide also contains recommended ship builds for taking on all of the many BGS roles both engineered and unengineered and further documents the galaxy's major political leanings, how to get involved and what other resources you might be able to use. Quite the weighty and valuable tome you'll find the complete Elite Dangerous background simulation guide linked below this video. Will you be bringing missiles along to the next Bucky Ball event? What do you think the Thargoids are up to and will you now be diving into the BGS system armed with the new guide? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.